Okay, good morning everyone. Thank you all again for taking the time to join us as we discover and explore the beautiful state of Alaska and to be able to journey up into Alaska, not only of course on Amtrak but also on one of two amazing cruise lines. What an experience. So I want to just take a minute and introduce myself. My name is Jim Marini, proudly the Director of Sales for Amtrak Vacations. Again, uh, for those of you that have attended my webinar series, my monthly webinar series, I hope you've enjoyed them. I try to make them short, fun, and sweet and share with you some exciting information on each of the different destinations that we here at Amtrak Vacations travel to. I want to mention that today, one lucky person is going to win a $50 gift certificate at the end of today's presentation, so please stay tuned for that. As well as, if you have a pen and a paper, please feel free to jot down our number to book any of these exciting packages, which are selling out fast. So our agents are here waiting. Your local travel agents are there waiting to help you book any of these exciting packages. So again, that number, 1-800-AMTRAK-2, otherwise 1-800-268-7252. Again, that's 1-800-268-7252, or as I mentioned, certainly you can book any of these exciting packages with your local travel agent. Now, a special incentive that we're offering today for any of you that book Alaska with our partner, Norwegian Cruise Line, we are offering a bottle of wine and chocolate-covered strawberries for any of you that book before the end of this month to travel any time this year, as long as it is a balcony and above. So veranda, balcony, and above. Also, for any of you that book onto our Alaska packages with Celebrity Cruises, who we partner with, we have some huge savings in the months of August and September. So that right there in itself is great value. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars you can save booking Alaska with us as a rail and sail package with Celebrity Cruises only, again, in the months of August and September departures. So that also, we're offering that incentive for anybody who books before the end of this month. So I will mention these again throughout the presentation. I also wanted to mention this presentation is being recorded, so if any of you or your friends or family would love to take some time later on and listen to it, or certainly be able to have time later to listen, that will be up on our website um, today as well, and that's www.amtrackvacations.com, all one word, amtrackvacations.com. I also want to mention, too, as I go through my presentation here today, Please feel free to type in any questions that you may have as I go through, and I will do my very best to answer as many as I can. This webinar is scheduled for a short period of time, so any questions I do not get to today on the webinar, I will make sure members of our staff uh, reach out to you either by phone or email to answer any questions I was not able to get to. So with that in mind, let's start out, everyone. Before we move into Alaska and all the beautiful sites America's last frontier is known for, why Amtrak vacations? Well, certainly, you know, to be able to combine not only one of the most beautiful states here in the United States with one of the most amazing ways to travel throughout the United States, and that, of course, is on Amtrak, to be able to combine it as Amtrak vacations is such a wonderful experience, and this particular picture right here was a survey that we took a few years ago from all of our travelers worldwide, really, and we said, why Amtrak vacations? And hopefully for some of you on the call here this morning, this is also very special for each of you as well. Well, one of the top reasons was it is a bucket list experience. It is a wish list experience. And as I mentioned earlier, to be able to travel on Amtrak, to be able to have your hotels taken care of and meals and sightseeing tours, and then of course, experience the beautiful state of Alaska by one of two great cruise lines. What a true bu bucket list experience that is. Less hassle. Everything now is all electronic ticketing, electronic documents, 
So it is very easy to be able to board on and off our trains, satisfy your hunger. I love this particular portion. Certainly for those of you that travel on Amtrak for any of the shorter routes throughout the United States, there are different dining carts, cafe carts, so there's areas you can go and, 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 and get a bite to eat, as well as any of the overnight journeys on the train, everyone. This is when really the cuisine is just spectacular. We have private chefs on board, any of the overnight trains. Food is fresh, made to order. Okay, great, great cuisine. Travel green, that's always a plus. City to city service. You know, as I was preparing my presentation here today, certainly for those of you that travel on Amtrak up into Seattle, okay, from wherever you start here in the United States, being able to travel up to Seattle, such a great city. We certainly can even uh, travel even northbound over the border into Vancouver. So that train from Seattle to Vancouver, you're only looking about three and a half to four hours. How great is that? But again, we can start any of your vacations wherever you are located nearest your closest train station. So that's the opportunity here when it comes to rail and sail. Flexibility. We do, of course, have daily departures on the trains which is great. Room to roam, we want you to get up and walk around. And, you know, to me, traveling on Amtrak is really, in many ways, almost like traveling on a cruise because, again, just like when you're on the ship, whether it's Norwegian Cruise Line or Celebrity Cruises, of course, the opportunity is to get up, walk around, go to many of the different restaurants. Well, you also have that experience on Amtrak as well. And, of course, that would be in our dining cart. But we want you to walk around, room to roam, stretch your legs, and also know that more baggage is allowed on the train. So where do we go, everyone? You know, this always surprises so many of our travelers, not only here in the States, but worldwide. You know, Amtrak actually travels to 46 out of the 48 continuous states within the United States. And unfortunately, everyone, no, Amtrak does not have a train in Alaska. So <laughs> for those of you that were hoping that Amtrak has a train in, in in Alaska. We do not. But however, that's where Amtrak Vacations comes in to the equation because we could still provide you that beautiful scenery and sights that you so desperately want to see in Alaska and be able to do that on one of two amazing cruise lines. Okay, so I'll share with you a couple of our most popular itineraries to Alaska in just a little bit. Last year, Amtrak actually had over 31 million people that traveled on the train, everyone. Over 31 million people. Now, if you look at the map of the United States, all the red lines is actually where Amtrak travels through in the United States, the continental United States. However, we travel to 46 out of the 48 continental states in the United States. The only two we do not travel through is Wyoming and South Dakota in the continental United States, of course, besides Alaska and Hawaii. Now, what are the different vacation types we offer? Again, today's focus is going to be on Alaska, and in particular, our rail and sail packages. However, we do offer independent rail journeys, and I have a few suggestions for everyone that you can take advantage of either before or after your Alaska trip. We have escorted rail journeys which are basically similar to um, escorted motor coach tours where you'd have a tour guide, you know, most meals included, except the difference, of course, is you're on Amtrak instead of being on a motor coach bus. We even have three- and four-day getaways as well as family adventures. But again, today, the focus is, of course, rail and sail packages, in particular Alaska. So let's start out with the rail portion, of course, being here, being the director of sales at Amtrak Vacations. It's something I'm so very proud of, I'm so fortunate of, and I hope many of you on the call today have had the pleasure and experience of traveling on Amtrak, the sights, the scenery, the sounds, the people that you meet. So let's talk about the seating and sleeping options. So as I mentioned earlier, wherever any of you may be starting your journey on your way up to Seattle before experiencing one of our excellent cruise packages, how and which options do you have traveling on Amtrak? So certainly we have coach seating, which is our main seating. That's the picture on the left-hand side. And I always love sharing this particular picture because coach seating on Amtrak, everyone, I compare it to 
economy plus or economy comfort on some of our US-based airlines here in the States. And what does that mean? Basically, it means you have extra leg room. So as you can see there in the picture, much more leg room, similar to what you would have, again, on economy plus or economy comfort on an airline. You also have some great space in the overhead to be able to put your bags okay, or luggage. And some routes, we also offer business class. And certainly for any of you that decide to upgrade on any of our overnight trains from coach seating up to roomette or bedroom, which we refer to as sleepers, that is an experience in itself. Now I will mention to everyone, about 50%, 50% of our travelers, everyone, actually will fly round trip to and from a destination. So just know you have that option. You could fly to and from Seattle and then be able to experience uh, one to two nights in Seattle before journeying on either Norwegian or Celebrity Cruises, who we partner with, which is wonderful. However, some of you might want to begin your journey in San Francisco or Chicago or, or even all the way in New York if you choose. Again, we can start and end you in your journey on the rail and sail packages nearest your closest major train station. So what are the differences when we look at this picture between Superliner, Roomette, Viewliner? Basically, Roomette is our first level of sleeper accommodations on any of our trains, any of our overnight trains, okay? So as an example, from Chicago out to Glacier National Park before heading out to Seattle, that would actually be an overnight train, okay, from Seattle out to Glacier National Park. Now, our pricing on our independent journeys is always based in coach. However, to upgrade to a sleeper, which would be a roomette or a bedroom, roomettes many times are as little as 50 to 100 to $200 extra per person to be able to not only get your own private accommodations, as you can see there, but also to get all your meals included on the train journey. How great is that, right? On that overnight train journey, all of your meals would be included. Now, all of our trains that head from Chicago out west to Seattle, San Francisco, those are referred to as superliner roomettes. All of our roomettes that are on our trains from Chicago east to New York City, those are referred to as viewliner roomettes. Roomettes for us, just so you all know, is by far our most popular category of any sleeper accommodations that we offer. Because again, as I mentioned, many times for only 50 to 100 to $200 extra per person, as minimal as that is, you get not only your private accommodations, but also all your meals included. So that's a big highlight. I want to mention roomettes fit up to two adults, okay? Now, one thing to keep in mind with roomettes is we have what we call private yet shared bathrooms. So what does that mean, right? What that means, everyone, is each of you has access to two bathrooms and two showers in that one train car with the other 10 roomettes. So what does that mean? Bathrooms are not physically inside of your roomettes, okay? Again, keep in mind, roomettes are by far our most popular category. So we find a lot of our travelers actually prefer that because then again, they have a little more space in their roomette. Again, you have access to your bathrooms, two bathrooms, two showers, in your one train car with the other 10 roomettes. So the people inside of those other 10 roomettes in that one train car are the only people allowed to use the showers or bathrooms in that one train car. There's also a private attendant that stays in the train car, so he or she is there available to help any of you with whatever you need, as well as, of course, to keep the bathroom nice and clean for each person to use it. Now, for any of you that absolutely want your own bathroom inside of your room, then, of course, you'd want to consider a bedroom. And a bedroom, of course, will differ in price. So since we're talking about any of the great cruises that we offer, a bedroom would be in comparison as far as price upgrade from an inside cabin to, say, a balcony. Okay, that was uh, a good analogy, all right? Whereas a roomette would be comparable to upgrading from inside to an outside cabin. Again, on many of the cruise lines, that's a very minimal charge. As I mentioned earlier, again, one of the big highlights, one of the best highlights is anytime any of you upgrade 
from a coach seat to a roomette or a bedroom, all your meals are included on that overnight journey. And what I love about any of the overnight trips, and this always surprises so many of our travelers, everyone, there are private chefs on board the train on any of the overnight journeys, any of the overnight train rides. Food is fresh, made to order. So breakfast would consist of eggs, omelets, pancakes, waffles, bagels, croissants, lunch, paninis, cheeseburgers, turkey clubs, dinner, chicken, steak, fish. The service also, white tablecloth surface. Okay, you've got menus that you could choose from, sit-down meals. Again, just absolutely great cuisine, so you'll be happy to know you have that opportunity, certainly traveling on Amtrak. Now, a few suggestions I'm going to mention at the end of today's presentation that you can take advantage of either before or after your Alaska cruise, everyone, Glacier National Park, West Coast Spectacular, which would be pretty much San Francisco down to San Diego, as well as the Pacific Northwest. So now we're on to our sail portion. As I mentioned, everyone, we do partner with two great cruise lines. And I can't tell you enough, everyone, the value that you get to save for those of you looking to cruise to Alaska in the months of August and September, give us a call. My background is actually from the cruise line for many years. In fact, I came from the Royal Caribbean Cruise family for many years before becoming the director of sales here at Amtrak Vacations just about two years ago. We have a wonderful partnership. And in looking at the pricing that we have right now, again, only in the months of August and September of this year to Alaska on our celebrity cruises, the savings is spectacular. In some cases, you not only get the cruise, you not only get a night in Seattle, you get it just as inexpensive as you would if you did a cruise only. It is a great value. Again, everyone, give us a call. Our agents are here waiting to help plan any of these wonderful trips for you. Again, that number is 1-800-268-7252. Again, that's 1-800-268-7252. Check us out online as well, and that's www.amtrackvacations.com. All one word, amtrackvacations.com to take advantage of any of these great packages. Also, as I mentioned, a special we have going with Norwegian Cruise Line is any of you that book any of these Alaska cruises before the end of this month, as long as it's veranda or above, okay, or balcony or above, we are going to include a bottle of wine and chocolate-covered strawberries in your cabin. Again, that's a special only being offered to each and every one of you that are attending today's presentation. Now, what type of room categories do we offer on board? Well, right now with Celebrity Cruises, we are holding group space in verandas. So all the space we have available right now in the months of August and September only with Celebrity is veranda, otherwise known as balcony. However, with Norwegian Cruise Line, we have the flexibility to book inside, outside, also veranda, as well as even suites, okay? And that's on a first-come, first-served basis. So give us a call again. We'll help you any way we can. I did want to mention as well, again, just a reminder as I'm going through today's presentation, please feel free to type any questions you have, okay, and send those to me in the question box, and I will do my very best to answer any of them that I can before today's webinar ends, okay? So the first package that I want to highlight is Alaska Cruise with Seattle on Celebrity Cruises. As I mentioned earlier, you have the opportunity with Amtrak Vacations to not only have one, but also two nights in Seattle if you choose. And then, of course, in this case, it's a wonderful cruise on Celebrity Cruises. We also, as I mentioned, partner with Norwegian Cruise Line. So we actually have a package that's a little bit shorter on Norwegian Cruise Line, which also includes Seattle, where, again, it hits many of the same beautiful ports and cities that you want to take advantage of being here traveling to Alaska. So as I mentioned a little bit earlier, my background actually for many years came from the cruise line. And you know, I, I love this picture. I, I love starting out the cruise portion of my presentation, sharing this everyone. You know, when I was on my first cruise, I love sharing this experience. There was 
over a thousand staff members, okay, and as I mentioned, being part of the uh, cruise industry for many years, there was over a thousand staff members on board this particular cruise ship that I went on in over 61 different countries were represented within the staff. You know, that amazed me, everyone, to see all these people from all over the world work together for one common goal, and that, of course, is to make sure each and every one of you have a wonderful experience. So to be able to take that type of atmosphere and service and combine it with the Amtrak experience, it is amazing. So let's start out the itineraries. As I mentioned, we do offer two different itineraries. However, both of them pretty much feature many of the same wonderful cities and ports that you want to visit. Of course, Seattle, home of the first Starbucks that ever opened up here in the United States, home to Pike's Marketplace, where, of course, very common seeing people throw the fish from one side to the next, you know, to the other. It's just an experience in itself. Once we, of course, leave Seattle, whether you choose our packages with either Celebrity Cruises or, Royal, or of course, Norwegian Cruise Line, one of our first ports we stop at is Ketchikan. Now, Ketchikan is the fifth most populated section, um, excuse me, uh, Ketchikan, yeah, most fifth populated city within Alaska, approximately 14,000 people. Ketchikan is known as the salmon capital of the world. Now, when you're in Ketchikan, lots to see and do. Many of these pictures, just so you know, I actually took personally myself. I thought this was interesting. Of course, in many of the different ports that we stop at, they offer an opportunity to travel on many different optional excursions along the way. So some of you might want to take advantage of traveling on the float planes if you choose. Others of you might want to do what I did and just go to all the different little shops and unique st stores where you can buy some of the little trinkets, such as dream catchers, right? Very popular souvenir among, amongst Alaska. So Ketchikan is just a great little area. They estimate almost 1 million visitors stop in Ketchikan every year. And of course, many of them actually travel to and from Ketchikan on some of the various cruise lines. So again, you have that opportunity right here. And of course, what is Alaska truly known for? It's known for some of the most amazing wildlife. Very common to see many of the different animals and species along the way. Very common to see all the beautiful glaciers as we travel through. As I mentioned again, so many of these pictures were actually taken by myself traveling to and from Alaska. I've been fortunate to travel there a few times. The scenery is spectacular. The glaciers are amazing. It truly is one of the most beautiful states in the United States. In fact, interestingly enough, Alaska, just to give you a little bit of interesting information, the state of Rhode Island, everyone, the state of Rhode Island can actually fit into Alaska 425 times just to give you an idea just how large the state of Alaska is. I remember reading something not too long ago, and they said one out of every 20 residents in the state of Alaska actually has his or her own pilot's license. Imagine that, everyone. So you can imagine just how vast and how large of a state it is. Now, Juneau, Alaska's state capital, such a great area. I, I took this picture, Red Dog Saloon, when we get off the ship and get a chance to walk around town, look at the scenery. This is a great place, of course, just to stop at. You know, Alaska actually became part of the United States, as many of you might be aware, from Russia back on October 18, 1867. Now, here's an interesting statistic to share with everyone. The United States actually paid 7200000 which probably doesn't even sound that expensive. And in fact, if you actually compare it per acre, we basically paid two cents per acre of land. I think you'd all agree it was a great investment on the United States part. And on January 3rd, 1959, everyone, Alaska officially became the 49th state of the United States. Juneau itself, since we're on Juneau, is actually Alaska's third largest city. Population is about 32,000. As I mentioned, it is the capital of Alaska. 
It's a little larger than the state of Delaware, just to kind of give you an example. They do call this particular city Gateway to the Glaciers. Now, Juneau, what's interesting is it's one of the only U.S. capitals that's accessible only by cruise or by plane itself. Of course, some of the other great sites that you get a chance to see, depending on which itinerary that you choose. Again, Norwegian Cruise Line that we partner with in Alaska, ships are going to be a little bit bigger than Celebrity, going to be a little more activities and things going on. And of course, the itinerary, the package itself, um, typically one to two days a little shorter. Celebrity is going to be a little more upscale, um, a little more of a, a relaxing pace environment. So really, it just depends on which itinerary that you choose either one. You can't go wrong, of course, with the scenery. It is truly spectacular. Another great port that we stop at along the way, everyone, is Skagway. Now, Skagway is really the, known as the core of the gold rush back in 1898. Population in Skagway, you ready for this, everyone? It's less than 1,000 people. So again, not many people live in the state of Alaska, but certainly it is such a massive, large state, of course, here in the United States. The most important revenue source in Alaska is oil and natural gas. In fact, it accounts for up to 25% in the United States. So definitely something to keep in mind. Of course, again, I can't say enough about the wildlife being in Alaska. It is spectacular. Fishing and seafood industry is uh, in this state is actually the large, largest private industry employer. In fact, most of the United States salmon, crab, um, herring actually all come from the state of Alaska. It truly is unforgettable, everybody. And to be able to travel not only on rail, on Amtrak, with Amtrak vacations, but also experience that with, of course, one of these two great cruise lines is such an experience. And by the way, we also stop into Canada. So what does that mean, everyone? You will need your passports, right? Because we travel to Victoria, which is otherwise known as Vancouver Island, right off the coast of Vancouver. And it's one of the last ports that we stop at before traveling back to Seattle. Vancouver Island, otherwise known as Victoria, absolutely amazing. They have Empress Hotel, which is known for high tea at around 3 o'clock every day. They have the Bouchard Gardens, which many of you have um, either been to or certainly heard about. It is amazing. Again, everyone, book today. If you book on our Norwegian Cruise Line package, we will offer a bottle of wine and chocolate-covered strawberries in your cabin, which, again, as long as it's balcony and above, we have departures all the way from May of this year through September. Again, for those of you that prefer to go on Celebrity, a little smaller ship, a little more upscale, we have departures available only in the months of August and September. In fact, all of our departures for our Alaska package with Celebrity in May, June, July, they've already sold out. Okay, we do have space, however, again, with Norwegian Cruise Line all year long, May through September. But August and September with Celebrity, hundreds and hundreds of dollars that you will save booking our package. And as I mentioned, in many cases, you not only get the cruise, you're not only in a veranda, which is a balcony, but you also get Seattle. And in many cases, you're going to spend just as much, if not even less, getting the cruise plus an extra day in Seattle in the months of August and September, which is a beautiful time, of course, to be in Alaska. Now, since we highlighted both of the ships, let's talk about some of the onboard activities. As I mentioned, some of these pictures were from myself. So yes, that is myself, everyone, <laughs> in the top right-hand corner. You know, what a great way to meet travelers. You know, every cruise I've been on, and it, the same applies, of course, here in the States, traveling on Amtrak and traveling with Amtrak Vacation. People come from all over. It's a great way to meet fellow travelers. Of course, the cuisine on the ships, either of them, you will not be let down. You cannot go wrong whether it's experiencing the cuisine on any of the overnight journeys on Amtrak or certainly on board the ship. is just a sampling of some of the different cuisine. And every evening, they always offer an early seating and a late seating, okay, depending on which time that you prefer. The early seating many times is at 
6 o'clock, the late seating is at 8 or 8.30, okay? And they do that purposely because they want to give you the option to eat before the show or to attend one of the amazing shows. And by the way, either cruise line, there's shows every night. And what I love about it is one night it could be almost like a Cirque du Soleil type of show, like this picture, right? Or it could be a comedy show, or it could be um, a jazz and music type of show. Every night there's a different type of show. Again, if you choose to do the show before, then of course you have the opportunity to enjoy the delicious cuisine afterwards. And speaking of delicious, everyone, take a look at this picture. This is just one of many desserts. And by the way, you have many, many, many different choices to choose from breakfast, lunch, and dinner, not only at the preset times, but there's also restaurants on board either ship where you can dine what we, what we refer to really, what Norwegian refers to as freestyle dining. So you can dine where and when you want. All right, so you have the option to go either at a prearranged seating, either early or late, or you have the option to dine where and when you want. You also have the option to take advantage of the casinos on board, right? This is a lot of fun. You know, every night it was almost uh, like a tradition for me. I would have a, a wonderful dinner. I would go to the pre-assigned seating. I'd have an opportunity to sit with usually eight to ten other fellow travelers. And I like it because you get a chance to meet a lot of great people. And certainly having dinner and cuisine on Amtrak, is no different too because again you have the opportunity to meet other travelers on board the train so it really kind of mimics each other as I go through and then once I'd have dinner I'd go to a show and then after the show this is usually where I would end up for a little bit before of course experience any of the great lounges and bars and nightclubs on board the ship some of you might prefer to just go to a nice little coffee shop and relax and that's how you end out the night and of course, with all the great cuisine that you're eating, there are gyms on board the ships, all right? So <laughs> I always joke about this picture, everyone. I never ended up making it to the gym that often as I would have liked to. But certainly you have the option to go to the gym. You also have the option to soak up just the beautiful scenery outside on board the ship. There's also typically a little walking area. A lot of people walk all the way around the ships. Many of you might just want to order room service and just relax and enjoy the night. Again, right now with Celebrity Cruises, we are holding some group space. There are limited availability left with verandas. Again, great value, okay, great packages. Norwegian Cruise Line that we're holding, um, an opportunity to book cabins. It can be either inside, outside, balcony, or, of course, family suites. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we do have a few suggestions that I did want to mention, either before or after your cruise. So let me just highlight a few of these packages. So for those of you that are looking to make this really more of a full vacation, not only, of course, to Alaska, but either before or after, how about taking advantage of traveling from Chicago out to Glacier National Park, where you'll have eight nights hotels included throughout the whole trip, two nights on board the train, so you get an, an opportunity to experience overnighting on the train. Again, you have the option to upgrade to a sleeper, which would be a roomette or bedroom. Again, very, very minimal pricing to go from coach up to roomette. We have hop-on, hop-off tours, tours of Seattle. Just a great, great itinerary. Some of you might want to take advantage of maybe flying out to San Francisco, for instance, and that's where you begin your trip before traveling north from San Francisco up to Portland, Oregon, over into Seattle and then being able to board on your cruise ship. How great is that? And of course, travel up to the beautiful state of Alaska. The last suggestion that I want to mention is our West Coast Spectacular. So as I mentioned, these three packages you can do either before or after because this one right here ends in Seattle. You can have a tour of Seattle. It starts in Seattle, excuse me. You can have a tour of Seattle. Then we travel south down into Los Angeles. And if you want to even extend it down into San Diego where you fly home at the end, you can certainly do that as well. Any of these itineraries can be customized to exactly the way you want to travel before or after as well. So definitely keep that in mind. So with that in mind, again, everyone, just a reminder, 
any questions, I see we have a lot of questions that have come in. Any questions you have, please feel free to type those away in the question box before I announce today's winner. So why Amtrak Vacations? Again, everyone, it's a bucket list experience, less hassle, satisfy your hunger, travel green, city to city service, flexibility, again, daily departures, room to roam, of course, more baggage. We travel all over the United States. So again, wherever you are located, as long as you can find your closest major train station nearby, we can start and end your trip wherever you would like. Again, just a reminder, over 50% or about 50% of our travelers will actually fly to and or from the starting and ending point, or they might train all the way to the starting point and then at the end of the trip fly home. So you have that option. Again, give us a call, everyone. That number is 1-800-268-7252 or contact your local travel agent who can definitely help you make any of these great arrangements. And as I mentioned, again, just for today, for those of you that took the time to attend today's presentation, any of you that booked before the end of this month, so really only two weeks left, if it's our Alaska package with Norwegian Cruise Line, we are offering a bottle of wine and chocolate-covered strawberries in your cabin. Again, as long as it is balcony and above, and on celebrity cruises, hundreds of dollars being saved booking our package in veranda with, again, one to two nights in Seattle already included. That's a great highlight. So depending on how many nights you prefer in Seattle, that also, again, expires before the end of this month. So, again, give us a call. Our agents are here waiting and ready, or certainly any of your local travel agents are waiting Again, that number, everyone, will appear on this next picture, so please feel free to, to jot it down or certainly contact your local travel agent. You can't go wrong either way you decide to book with us. And if you do decide to book through your local travel agent, everyone, we will honor these same incentives, okay? So to us, whatever way you feel more comfortable, we are here to help each and every one of you experience a journey of a lifetime. So. With that in mind, okay, as promised, okay, I'm going to open it up to questions that you may have, but I do want to mention, as promised, today's winner, okay, so today's winner on the presentation, all right, and where is, I need a little drum roll, everyone, right? Where's my little drum roll? Today's winner is Fernell Hickman Brooks. Fernell Hickman Brooks, congratulations. You have won our $50 gift certificate towards an Amtrak vacation package. Congratulations on that. I will send you an email after so we can mail out that gift certificate to you. So congratulations. Okay, everyone. So as promised, we have actually about five minutes left to hopefully answer any questions you may have. So I see we have a ton of questions that have come in. And again, I want to encourage any of you, if you want to stay on for another few minutes, I am going to do my very best to answer as many of these as I can. We have a ton. So again, I might not get to all of them, but I will do my very best um, to also answer these. So the first question is from Bill Johnson. Can I book my rail and sail trip with Amtrak vacations and be assured I will have everything I need to have a complete trip with no worries. Yes, absolutely, Bill. So again, as I mentioned earlier, everyone, we formed partnerships with both Norwegian Cruise Line and Celebrity Cruises where we are truly your one-stop shop. So when you book with us, not only can we take care of everything from booking your rail with hotels and meals and sightseeing along the way, but also the wonderful cruise in the beautiful state of Alaska, which, again, Alaska, there's just so much history here, so much to see within this beautiful state. By the way, Alaska is over twice the size of Texas, too. Just thought I would share that. <laughs> again, lots of great, great opportunities. Next question from Jolina. Are there prices for double occupancy uh, only or also for individual travelers? Yes, Jolina, yes. So um, obviously our pricing... Um, we always list the double rates, but we can also get you single rates. Any of you, we can get single rates um, as well. Okay. Um, next question from Mary Smith. Mary, um, how is handicap uh, handled? 
great question. Well, I'll tell you, everyone, as I mentioned, myself having come from the cruise line for many years and, of course, being so proud to be part of Amtrak Vacations, um, certainly we do have handicap accessible rooms on board the trains, on any of the overnight trains. They are very limited, I will tell you. So if anybody needs um, handicap accessible rooms, please, again, let any of our agents know or certainly, certainly a local travel agent or um, as well as on board the ship, um, absolutely plenty of handicap accessible choices as well. Okay, so, so yeah, this is really a one-stop shop, not only company to book everything from rail and sail, but also uh, any and all of your type of uh, accommodations. Next question from John Jensen. Uh, John, uh, Jim, uh, can we have special meal requests, for instance, diabetic? Yes, absolutely great question. Again, any of you, any special meal requests that you have, not only traveling on the rail portion on Amtrak, uh, with Amtrak vacations, but also on the ship as well. So when you let any of our agents know, and again, give us a call, everyone. That number is listed right there in the front of the page. 1-800-AMTRAK-2, or, or again, if you book through your local travel agent, just let them know as well, and, uh, and we will take care of that, okay? Um, next question from Stephen. Uh, what is the deposit per person? Great question, Stephen. So, yeah, deposit per person, just so you know, um, because, of course, it is rail and sail, would be two, it's only $250 per person. Um, we also offer an optional cancellation waiver as well, and that's a great value, so definitely ask any of our agents about that and certainly we will do our very best to, uh, to, to take care of that for you. But it is very flexible where basically it does um, cover all of you uh, if you were to happen to cancel uh, up until um, the day uh, before the trip. So again, our agents can tell you more about that, but definitely uh, plenty of flexibility as well. Okay, so um, anyway, uh, going through, this is great, everyone. Great questions. Thank you. Um, next question from Alzora. Can I start in Philadelphia? Absolutely, Alzora. Again, you can. any of you can start and end wherever you want. So if you want to start in Philadelphia and you, you want to, um, to book the hotel, the rail, um, any meals or sightseeing along the way, we can do that for you on your journey out to Seattle or at the end of the trip when you end in Seattle, we can be able to, you know, uh, book a rail and hotel and meals um, from Seattle to any other major city where then you can either train all the way back home or you could fly back home. Again, you have that option, everyone, and we really are that one-stop shop as well. Okay, so definitely keep that in mind. Well, it looks like everyone... The presentation is going to expire in just uh, about 30 seconds. So let me just uh, let me just say, any of you that I did not get to answer your questions, I know we still have a lot of questions. My training uh, presentations, my overview webinars are always scheduled for about 45 minutes. So um, I don't want this to expire. Before I let all of you know, we will answer the rest of your questions. I will make sure my staff reaches out to you either by phone or email. Again, everyone. Before the end of this month, if you book our Alaska package with Norwegian, again, as long as it's a veranda or balcony and above, we're going to throw in a bottle of wine and chocolate-covered strawberries. Or if it is our Alaska package with Celebrity Cruises, again, right now, we only have um, space available in August and September. However, we are holding veranda rooms. We've got group space on verandas, of otherwise known as balconies, where there is hundreds and hundreds of dollars that you are saving. And in some cases, as I mentioned, you, can not only, you not only get the cruise, but you even get a night in Seattle for a very similar price as if you, would have gonna, if you, as if you were going to book just the cruise only. So give us a call or contact your local travel agent, everyone, and we will do our very best job for you. Again, I want to thank everyone for joining us here today. I want to congratulate Fernell on winning our $50 gift certificate. We really appreciate all your time, everyone. We look forward to seeing you on board, not only Amtrak with the Amtrak Vacations, but also on board one of these two great cruise lines. Have a great rest of the day, everyone. Thank you again for all your support, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.